thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I've got to say, what, what a week. I mean, you know, we're so overburdened here in Seattle with things that we're supposed to save, the Spotted Owl, the Mariners, the, the Music Hall. Too late for that one, I guess. And this week, a new one on the list, Frederick and Nelson. You see this? Frederick and Nelson. The, you know, and I, I got to say that Frederick's is a tough one because, as everyone who grew up here knows, that's where the real Santa Claus lives. Right? Am I right? Right? The ones, uh, the ones at Sears and all over the malls, they're, they're just his helpers. At least that's what my mom always said. I, I believe that's right. And you realize that if Frederick's goes, Santa will probably have to move across the street to Nordstrom's? I mean, do we want to see that? I don't know. Although, although, it means that if you don't really like what he brings you for Christmas, you can take it back pretty easily. <laughs> I think it's really good. And I'm guessing it'll probably be a more stylish Santa next season. You know, we could, the colors will probably be a lot hipper. Maybe we have Rudolph the Teal Nose Reindeer, which could be, <laughs> you know, could be good. And I'm guessing that all of Santa's helpers will be really anorexic and bitchy. It's just, 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 a, just a guess. Just a guess. So I'd say we better start eating frangos, more frangos. Uh, We've got to save Fredericks. And you realize there's a guy in Alaska, I read this uh, this week, that wants to save the Mariners. He wants to use some of Alaska's oil money and buy the team, keep it in Seattle, and then call them the North Pacific Mariners, which, you know, I think it's nice. And I guess the guy came down from Alaska and was very impressed. He liked the team. And he'd never seen beer and hot dogs so cheap, which is good, you know. Uh, the other big athletic news this week, they've decided to hold the annual Washington State Summer Games over on the east side this year. Uh, they're going to tailor the athletic events to suit the Bellevue, Kirkland, Redmond environment. And I, I'm telling you, you might want to get your tickets now because these events look really exciting. Because we got an advanced program of what you're going to see this summer. For example, the 110-meter high hurdles over the less fortunate are going to be there, which is good. <laughs> Nice event. They're going to have synchronized plastic surgery, which is very exciting. They're going to have the African American Hassleathon, which is always popular over there. The Jello Shot Put, which is uh, good. The El Torito's Breaststroke at Closing Time, which, yeah. Also the, yes, a very get your tickets now. Get your tickets now, folks. The 10K race out of the Seattle School District, which is very, very popular these days. The messed up teens in rehab relay. <laughs> and finally, blonde divorcees with way too much jewelry platform diving all on the east side. I think the east side community. I, I think that the east side community is going to be very well served by those games. And it, you know, at Almost Live, we want to serve all special interest groups in our community. And you know, it came to our attention that there were some young people not being served at the present time, and we felt a new television show was in order, and we got one together right away. Take a look. 